Welcome to the Image ImageProGraph SmartWorks MFP Classroom. In this video, we will discover the layout, settings, and configuration of the SmartWorks MFP. The three core functions of SmartWorks are copy, scan, and print. We will explore each of the icons on the home screen. Preview toggles on and off preview mode. Reset to reset back to your personal software defaults. Settings go to Program Settings page. Help display the user guide in your default browser. Default presets are displayed for copy, scan, and print. Click on Preset to scroll through each option. Click on Quality to scroll through each option. Scan to File. From the home screen, click on Preset to display the list. These default presets are the same for Copy and Scan to File. Use Colored Mixed when scanning documents with a combination of line drawings and images. The color will lean towards blue. Use Color Photo when scanning photographic quality documents or posters. This is the most faithful color setting. Use Color Graphics when scanning perspective, GIS, and 3D renders. The color will lean towards red. Use Color Lines to scan in 256 colors. Use Gray Photo when scanning monochrome documents with tonal gradation. Use Gray Lines when scanning monochrome documents with a combination of gray and solid black lines. Use Black and White or Black and White 1 when scanning black-only documents or if you want to convert all colors to black. These modes utilize simple thresholding to remove the background of clean, well-defined images. Use Black and White 2 or 3 when scanning black and white documents that are more challenging. These modes utilize adaptive thresholding for images with color cast in the background. Select Quality to adjust the resolution of the scan. Draft mode scans at 200 dpi, standard mode scans at 300 dpi, and best mode scans at 600 dpi. At this point, you can enter the document into the scanner and press the green start button. The file destination and file type will use the default settings. Let's now have a look at the advanced settings for scanning. Click on advanced scan to reveal the options. One. Users can select from four scan to file output methods. Scan to file or mapped drive. Scan to USB. Scan to email or scan to image program direct print and share cloud utility. Two, when you have chosen your output method, choose your scan preset as previously detailed. When you have completed your custom settings in this window, you may choose to save a custom preset. Click on Scan Preset, then Save New Preset to save your own custom settings. Name your new preset and click the Save icon. Hit the back arrow to return to the previous screen. Three file types available in SmartWorks MFP include TIFF LZW, TIFF, TIFF G4, PDF, and JPEG. SmartWorks MFP Plus enables multi-page PDF and variable JPEG compression. File types will adjust based on the color mode selected. Specific paper sizes can be set, however auto size is recommended in most cases. Image detail can be set manually from 100 dpi up to 1200 dpi. To enable 1200 dpi, this must be changed in settings. The number of colors will be changed based on the scan preset you have chosen. Click here to toggle preview on and off. Click here if you have enabled auto crop. Click here to turn on fine detailed scan. Fine detail enhances fine lines and text by making them darker and more black. Click here to perform batch scanning. Pages will be saved as individual files. Click the green start button on the front panel of the scanner or from the touch screen to initiate the scan. Copy. Many of the settings you have now familiarized yourself with are common to the copy function. We will go straight to the advanced settings and show you the additional features of the copy function. Click here to open advanced settings. Number one, select your preferred preset here, then choose your quality mode. Please note that the quality you choose is reflected here in image detail and here in print quality. Number two, these three options are the same as you just learned in the advanced scanning settings. We now need to choose our printer settings. 
SmartWorks gives us a quick view into the driver settings here. You will need to choose the paper type, print quality, print color mode, print priority, scale, and number of copies to suit your purpose. Alternatively, you can click on the printer name here to use the Windows printer driver for your printer settings. Print. Now that you're familiar with the scan and copy functions, printing files created in SmartWorks is easy. When using print for the first time, we recommend selecting Advanced Print first, which will enable you to create a preset. 1. Choose the file you wish to print. This can be from the cloud, USB, Windows folder, or map drive. 2. When you have completed your print settings in the next step, you may create a preset the same way as previously shown. It is advised to do this after you have completed step 3. You can select your print quality at this point, or select it in step 3. 3. The printer settings are the same as previously shown in the copy function. Work through each of the print options, or click here to use the window driver interface. When complete, click the green button to commence printing. Now that we have learned all the features of the SmartWorks home screen, scan, copy and print, let's put it into practice using the preview window. In this exercise, we will scan to file. First, enter your document into the scanner. Center justified. To help reduce skew, align the document to this line and insert with confidence. The detected width of the document will be displayed here. Click or tap the green button to commence scanning. Preview window. When scanning using the preview, this window will be displayed once the scanning process is initiated. When performing a color or gray scan, you can adjust the following options. Brightness. Use this option to increase or decrease the overall image brightness. White point. Setting a higher value will cause tones close to white to become pure white. This can improve contrast and overall intensity of the image. Setting the white point too high, however, may cause details in areas of highlights to be lost, making the image look flat. Adjusting white point can also help clean up originals that may have yellowed over time. Black point. Setting a higher value may cause tones close to black to become pure black, which can improve contrast. However, setting the black point too high may cause shadow detail to be lost. Sharpening. Sharpening will improve images for printing. If you're planning on editing images after scanning them, you should leave this option off. Deskew. When scanning in documents, it is possible for pages not to feed properly. The Deskew feature will fix this problem. Color correction. When SmartWorks Plus is optioned, three sliders, red, green, and blue, are activated for you to enhance or correct the colors in the scan document. If performing a gray scan, this option will be omitted. Crop. This tool allows you to select an area of an image and discard everything outside the area. Invert. This inverts all of the colors, making each color its exact opposite. Mirror. This effect will horizontally flip the image. Zoom. You may use the zoom function by clicking or touching here. Alternatively, you may use a pinch gesture similar to a smartphone. Trash. This will cancel and flush the current preview. Click or tap the green button to save and or print the document. When performing a black and white scan, you can adjust the following options. Simple thresholding, adaptive thresholding. These functions work as previously described. Click or tap the green button to save and or print the document. This concludes the ImageProGraph SmartWorks MFP Classroom. For more classroom sessions, please visit the Canon YouTube channel within your region.